Hello everyone, my name is Varun Mahotra and today I am doing a breakdown of Gustave Batista and Tommy Langacker at the 2017 Europeans uh, when they were both brown belts. So before we look at the match, uh, we're gonna get we're gonna do a little preview of the athletes. I kind of like what I did last time on the Lucas Bertazzi and Andy Murasaki study. So Gustavo Batista, he's a, one of the most technical passes in the game and possibly of all time. His whole style is basically just training knee slides and smash passes, and he's also incredibly, incredibly hard to sweep. He's one of the, his base is probably like it's incredible. It's a uh, is and like Andre Gava, he's super, super hard to score on. Tommy Langacker is one of the more creative guard players. Um, he uses a lot of upper body guards like um, Color Sleeve and Color Lasso, and uh, most of his best wins have come from upper body attacks like omoplatas, triangles, and arm bars. And um, he's also famous for using the Matrix to attack a crab ride, uh, but whenever he fin whenever he does succeed in the crab ride, he mostly doesn't throw over the top leg in the Matrix. The only thing that I've really seen uh, consistent with him on his crab ride entries are him getting inside position with one of his legs. But otherwise, it's kind of it's kind of unpredictable, and that's one of his greatest assets. Uh, so at the start of the match, we got to understand what these uh, what the goals of each guys are. So Gustavo Batista just he's looking to be on top. He knows that Tommy is going to pull from a distance, so he's not going to try and sweep him, and he's super confident in his passing against most people. Uh, Tommy is just looking to pull and start attacking right away. So now let's start getting to the match right now. So Tommy's going to get a quick pull over here, and he's going to start attacking right away with the reverse teleheaver to try and spin onto Gustavo. And um, Gustavo kind of goes into a knee slide as he typically does. Okay, and uh, Tommy does a good job of getting a frame with his left hand. And now you're going to see something super rare from Gustavo, and he's actually going to start Toriyantoing to the other side, which is a big stylistic change up for him. And um, I thought that was really interesting. You see over here, Tommy has his collar and sleeve, and he does a good job of getting to De La Hiva with that. And um, he kind of goes back and forth between the position for a little bit. But Gustavo does a good job of closing his elbow to his knee so there's no upper body attacks on him. And uh, Tommy over here, you're going to see he's going to start getting the angle to the outside and trying to foot stomp Gustavo. But he fucks up and he makes one mistake when he did the foot stomp and that's not sitting up on his elbow. And that makes it easier for Gustavo to step over. Tommy over here does a great job of being early, noticing that Gustavo is going for the knee slide and immediately shooting the kiss of the dragon with the reverse de la Hiva. He unfortunately doesn't commit to it that much, but he could have improved his chances if he had grabbed the heel to off-balance Gustavo and he could have potentially had the momentum to get all the way behind him. We see Gustavo progressing in a knee slide over here and he goes and tucks in Tommy's uh, lasso as that's one of his favourite knee slides. And he also makes another super cool adjustment over here where he goes for a back step so he can get rid of Tommy's reverse teleheaver hook and also so that it crumples his frame and Tommy ends up in a bad spot. Gustavo weaves his hand through on the lasso and is working to clear that top knee of Tommy. And for those who don't know, clearing the top knee means just basically occupying the space in between the guard player's knee and chest. And to lock in that space, Gustavo starts to grab the drawstring. Tommy does a good job over here of building up to his elbow and eventually his hand to get space and to bring his foot outside to the hip, which is really smart because that becomes an omoplata threat to Gustavo because his, uh, his thigh is connected to the back of the tricep. Notice over here that Gustavo is also very fixated on controlling the head and not controlling the tricep which allows Tommy to build up to his elbow. You can actually see his progression uh, in this little moment in his match against Felipe Trovo. Gustavo starts attacking the knee slide and he goes for that back step once again. But this time whenever, when he does the knee slide and back step, he forces Tommy into a knee shield because he breaks the lasso grip by kind of just muscling it out. He also makes the interesting choice, instead of going for the drawstring and cross face, just to grab the top of the pants and for overhead clubbing. And I hypothesize this is because um, he wants to go for another back step to get rid of the position, to get out of the position. But Tommy does a really good job of off-balancing Gustavo by pulling his knees into his chest and getting to X-guard. Gustavo, however, in this position, uses the momentum to go over the top of the X-guard and reset into Delahiva, which is a position he's much more comfortable passing. You see Tommy has a lasso over here, 
in the De La Riva position as well. And uh, Gustavo does a really good job of shin slicing over the De La Riva so that he can force him into a knee slide position. And he also does something really smart where he shucks off the lasso, but Tommy does a really good job of recovering, taking the initiative and bringing in the spider, which actually kind of forces Gustavo to go out of his game a tiny bit, as because he needs to posture up out of uh, he needs to posture up a little bit to get rid of the spider where he pushes it out. But this this kind of forces Gustavo out of his game because Gustavo generally likes to have his torso over his hips, and this forces him to bring uh, to bring his head up a little more. But after the clearing the spider with the opposite hand, he continues his passing sequence and steps right back into headquarters. From the headquarters, Gustavo was really on point by doing a back step right as Tommy was initiating the reverse de la Hiva, and then he ends up in a really, really deep passing position. And the only thing that saved Tommy from getting past was that cross, uh, was that cross spider frame, which allowed him to get back to a normal guard. So Tommy ends up over here in a little bit of a scramble, trying to get under Gustavo, and um, he's trying to off balance him to his right. And he's trying to keep getting under him, but Gustavo is doing a really good job of keeping his base. And, um, yeah, so Gustavo's just staying super heavy right now. And Tommy's just trying to extend that right leg or trying to spin under Gustavo, as, he can, as you kind of see over here. But Gustavo does a good job of keeping his base. You're going to see Tommy eventually going to Spider with a pant grip. And um, he does something super smart. He starts chaining the attacks that he was having success with earlier in the fight by chasing the angle in the De La Hiva, then switching to a spider and off-balancing. And then Gustavo kind of ends up one step back in the transition when Tommy ends up in X-Guard. And you're going to see it right over here. So as they disengage from the X guard and Tommy kind of, uh, and Gustavo kind of gets his base, Gustavo uses his IQ and does something really smart. He completely changes his passing style and changes the entire direction of the match by starting to chain Toriandos, as you're going to see over here. This was a super, super high IQ moment by him and allows him to get the pass, which basically gives him the match. Yep, so that's kind of the end of the breakdown. Uh, for the rest of that match, it's mo uh, Tommy recovers and is kind of trying to off balance and uh, trying to like come up on sweeps on Gustavo, but Gustavo just kind of stalls him out and keeps his base with a three pa uh, pass attempts thrown in there, and they sometimes get pretty deep. Um, yeah, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe. Uh, you know how it goes. Uh, follow me on social media. Follow Tommy and Gustavo on social media. Um, if you also. Uh, I'm also available for on online privates if you want. So if you, uh, right now in this quarantine time, it's kind of difficult to progress in jiu-jitsu and I can kind of help you with that. Just feel free to send me a message on Instagram and I can let you know all the details. Other than that, have a good day. Uh, enjoy everything and I hope you like this breakdown. Let me know your thoughts. Share it with your friends, your mates, whoever. Share it with your grandma. That will be really helpful. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Let it be your chill. And yeah, have a good one. See you later.